This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Megas, and we're going to talk about conspiracy theories real quick. Um, Lately, my Twitch chat has been into like the conspiracy theory talk, and I find it very amusing. Um, because my reaction is always, huh, that's an interesting theory. And I know that probably pisses some people off. Um, so I felt like I should just give a roundabout explanation of why I say that. See, the thing is, I don't necessarily dismiss any and every conspiracy theory. But I kind of try not to take that stuff as serious as some people are. Like, I know in the internet age, it's so fucking easy to get wrapped up in these conspiracy theories. Because... You post something enough on enough websites, you have somebody, like like I said to them, you tweet something enough, you put an idea out there enough, it becomes fact, it becomes reality, and people adopt it. Um, and it's even more so um, that way since it, the internet has become the driving um, force behind the way that people digest information. And it's kind of sad because... As I've said plenty of times, people don't read and research enough. Um, Google, Yahoo, and whatever other search engine made it so easy to just type in a couple of terms and to feel like you're seriously researching. And like, to be quite honest, the internet's really not serious research. It's a quick fix for the um, type of um, research we used to do back in the day where we had to actually go to a fucking library go through the Dewey Decimal System and all that shit and find the proper um, books that are on that subject matter and read or find the videotapes or whatever medium it was and like go through it. Whereas now, it's just as easy to say, you know, um, the government supports the devil and you'll see a million like articles that come up because the thing is, it's not that all of these people are confirming their things. It's just like everybody just takes things. It's like, okay, I mostly talk about video games on this channel. If you ever went to a video game site, pay attention to the articles that you see. Like, go to GameStop, go to IGN, go to Kotaku, um, and whatever other site. And you'll notice that everybody uses the same exact article. Like, one of them will break the story and the rest will be like, okay, well, according to Kotaku or whatever. They'll say it briefly, but it'll be so quick that you probably don't like recognize it but they're basically just pulling the same articles not like they went and like investigated the story and found it out themselves it's like hey so and so reported it let's report what so and so reported and that's how things get a lot get get distorted and jumbled jumbled a lot of times I think because you just like nobody's working to actually get the information anymore and granted stuff like the AP wire has always been out there as a like basis for news to send something out but I also feel like you know you had to take more time to like prepare yourself to report certain things you know what I mean or to like discuss certain topics um I just feel like now the internet kind of makes it a blanket thing and that's the same thing with conspiracy theories it's just like so easy to blanket people with your conspiracies and thoughts that it, it, it's not I don't blame people for believing in everything that they read on the internet or that they see in a video on the internet but I caution people all the time like yo don't just buy like what you said what you see on the internet because the internet is definitely a you know vast playground full of fucking trolls and people trying to get people to buy into an idea to make a fool of themselves you have to be very very um you know very very uh how could i say this you have to you know discern things a lot heavily in my opinion on the internet than you would um in you know different circumstances when the internet wasn't that big and that's the irony of this whole thing is that I feel like now we do a lot less research um with probably more 
uh, tools than we did back in the day with less like you know useful tools I feel like like the ease of use of the internet and computers and technology has made us not really um, seek out sources um, and you know confirm them I just feel like you know back in the day we were a lot less you know, we were a lot more limited to the avenues that we could take but we put in a lot of work a lot more work whereas now I feel like you have a lot more avenues to take yet the effort is a lot less it's very weird but anyway you guys hit me up let me know what you think about conspiracy theories and how people break them down and what's to believe and what not to believe all right y'all I'm out of here deuces